Hello again, Stephen Jane Messianics coming at you with some more slightly depressing, super tough to digest, fun stuff about Christmas and uh, why we're not going to celebrate the Roman holiday known as Christmas on, or Christ's Mass on December 25th and why we will be celebrating Hanukkah, which uh, you know is not a Bible holiday, but it, uh, it is a uh, special time that was celebrated um, by, the, by the Jewish people in the first century, by all the apostles, and it was celebrated by Yeshua himself. I've read a lot of uh, interesting commentary saying that he didn't celebrate that, that uh, you know, this verse in John chapter 10 uh, doesn't mean that he did celebrate. And I want to show you why that this uh, belief is preposterous uh, and why it's absolutely silly to believe that Yeshua did not celebrate Hanukkah why it would be silly for us as Messianic believers to celebrate Christ's Mass, a Roman holiday, uh, on December 25th of all days. There's no reason for it. So stick with me. I'm a little tired. It's been a full morning already. Homeschooling and uh, fun stuff. So if you would get your Bible out, um, you can go to uh, chapter 10. We're going to just move just, I'm not going to keep you forever like I did with the uh, occult thing, but there was just so many verses to go through. And uh, it's, a cool, it's a cool topic as well, you know. Um, but Yeshua did celebrate Hanukkah. Um, this was about the survival of the Jewish people. Um, obviously, Yeshua is Jewish. So everything, he did everything that was Jewish. You know, obviously, he is, uh, he is uh, I, I don't want to, you know, get into, the, into different doctrines, but he, uh, you know, he is the son of God. He was there, for, you know, Colossians, he was there when everything was made. Uh, you know, he is the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. I mean, he is almighty. So if you look at the Tanakh and all the prophets, really everything that's being said and appointed is coming from Yeshua, not from uh, some, you know, Jewish tradition, like some kind of unintended anti-Semitic, um, you know, statements that have been made. So if you'll go with me to uh, John Yochanan, chapter 10, uh, and this is so powerful. This this uh, this whole <laughs> the whole Bible is powerful. What what am I talking about? But um, okay, goodness, where is it? Ten ten twenty two. Then came Hanukkah in Yerushalayim. It was winter, and Yeshua was walking around inside the temple area in Shlomo's colonnade, Solomon's colonnade. So the Judeans surrounded him and started to ask him, you know, are you the Messiah? And he, he says, I, I already told you, you know, but you don't trust me. Um, and he goes on to, to talk about it. And then they wanted to stone him, and then and this whole conversation happens. Um, but he was there to celebrate Hanukkah. He wasn't, you know, people talk so much. They write so much, and um, everybody wants their own voice heard. Everybody wants their own beliefs pushed, their own agendas, their own their own, how they want, they want to frame things a certain way. I've, I've seen this in every church, every place I've ever been in. Um, everybody has got like a certain way that they want you to look at things. And I, I just want you to, to pick up the word for yourself and just see um, what he did. And, and we're not going to celebrate a Roman holiday. The Romans were evil. The Romans ripped everything Jewish out of um, messianic belief uh, in Yeshua. What we have now in the United States is, is really uh, like the bastard child of, of, uh, of Roman sun god worshipers who hated and wanted to mock the God of Israel. And there's just that seedling of truth, and that's Jesus Christ, which is okay to say. It's the same person. Uh, Hollywood wouldn't mock that name Jesus Christ or make it like a, an insult or a curse word unless there was some truth and validity to it. I like to say Yeshua because that's what his mom called him. But uh, there's no problem with saying Jesus Christ, so don't be afraid to say that. Um, but he was, he was Jewish. He celebrated Hanukkah. He was in Yerushalayim to celebrate Hanukkah. He was there. The, he knew, some say that they, that they wanted to stone him, so why would he celebrate it? Well, he was there in the temple. The Judeans who, who wanted to stone him, they're very strict Torah keepers. They, they wanted to stone him because so many things he did were permissive, like uh, against the traditions. The Baptists today would have crucified uh, Yeshua, Jesus. They, the Baptists would have crucified him fundamentals like way earlier in his ministry. They wouldn't have let him speak so much. They would have cast him out and ruined his life, kept their kids from playing with him. 
They would have done that to Yeshua, Jesus. They would have, for sure. Uh, Catholics, too. Absolutely, Catholics have uh, centuries and centuries. They've treated the Jews like dogs. So I don't know why any Jewish person would ever um, want to follow that. But here we are. He was in Hanukkah to celebrate. Every time, if you look in other parts of the gospel, uh, and I'm a learner, too. I'm not a great teacher here. I'm not trying to be better than anyone. I'm still a learner, too. I'm, I've, I've been a follower of Yeshua for 12 years and only a Messianic believer for some months now. Uh, honestly, I, I, I may, may have only uh, been walking in the Spirit for a few months now. I, I, admit, I admit that this is likely to be true. Um, he, every time that Yeshua, Jesus, went into a town, he went to the synagogue. Or, or if he didn't, um, I mean, if he did go to the synagogue, I mean, he went during all the, the holidays. During Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, there was a huge thing, uh, John chapter 7. Um, I, we invited all these different people to sit in our sukkah from our church, and not one single person did. In fact, my wife sent out all these text messages to the ladies, the Christian ladies group. She didn't even get a thumbs up, nothing, no response. Uh, and any time she mentioned it, they said, oh, you're pushing it on us. This is a separate thing. This is Jewish tradition. This is wild, you know. He went to the temple in Jerusalem to celebrate Hanukkah, to be a part of it, because he's God. Who delivered the Jewish people, the Maccabees? It was God. It wasn't just some Jewish deity. It was, it was God, the God of Israel, who we believe in. Uh, Christian people in the West, we should, this is the same God. So we act like it's the separate thing, like it's divided, but it's absolutely not. This is the whole Bible. <laughs> so he was there. It's absolutely preposterous to believe that he was not there. Every time he was going in, he was, he was reading from the Torah scrolls. He was doing. He was teaching. He was respected, even on uh, uh, both sides. He was, most of his. He was t talking mostly to the Torah teachers and the and the, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, most of the first believers were f former Pharisees, um, and that's my wife calling. But uh, John, chapter ten, verse twenty-two, and I want to just push you a little bit earlier. In chapter eleven is when he say, "I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep." Um, and then earlier he says uh, in verse 1 of chapter 10, Yes, indeed, I tell you, the person who doesn't enter through the sheep pen through the door but climbs in some other way is a thief and robber. He's the Mashiach. He's the Messiah. Anybody else is a thief and a robber. Uh, and then right before chapter 10, right before at the end of chapter 9, this is so amazing because as, as a, a former atheist and a Gentile believer, um, that's my wife calling me. I'm going to call her. But um, he heals someone who was born blind. And the person who was born blind that can see was thrown out. Um, he was thrown out. And uh, then Yeshua approaches him. He heard that he had been thrown out. He found him and said, this is so cool in verse 35, 935, Yohanan, John. Yeshua heard that they had thrown the man out. He found him and said, do you trust in the Son of Man? Sir, he answered, tell me who he is so that I can trust in him. Yeshua said to him, you have seen him. In fact, I, I, I put this on the audio Bible. I love this so much. You have, Yeshua said to him, you have seen him. In fact, he's the one speaking with you now. Lord, I trust, he said. And he kneeled down in front of him. Yeshua said, it is to judge that I came into this world so that those who do not see might see and those who do not see might become blind. Some of the Prushim Pharisees nearby heard him and said to him, so we're blind too, are we? They sound like a Baptist. They sound like a fundamental. They're so threatened, you know, you say anything that's even just slightly different than what they're thinking and they're just like, oh yeah, we're blind? You're smarter than us? Yeshua answered, they did that to God himself. Yeshua answered them, If you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But since you still say, We see, your guilt remains. So, Yeshua, Jesus, was not born in December. He was either born during Sukkot in the fall, which is what we believe, and we're going to celebrate Christmas in Sukkot. We're going to call it Christmukot during Sukkot. That's what we're going to celebrate Christmas, and it's not going to focus on materialism, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't focus on commercialism. It should focus on our Mashiach or Messiah that he died for us, that he was, he was born 
And uh, then it was, he was either born then or a small group of people think he was born in, in April. So if groups of scholars believe he was either born in April or during Sukkot and appointed time, which makes a lot more sense, and only the Catholics just made up December, that there's no proof that he was born in December, why would you take the established time of the, estab of the murderers who had genocidal bloodbath after genocidal bloodbath, century after century, and, tr and had Jews force-fed and run through streets naked while the Pope would laugh from a balcony. Why would you take their date over these other two dates that scholars believe are much more likely for the birth? Point one. Point two, Saturnalia, a pagan festival which existed long before Yeshua, uh, where people would sing naked in the streets, sexual license, all kinds of crazy stuff getting wasted, uh, was December 17th to December 25th. The popes said that's what they used for the model. They were gonna, they were gonna take it, Saturnalia. So it's on a for sure established pagan holiday. And there's other people, Egyptians, Far East, and also some even in the Aztec realm uh, uh, history, you know, during this time of December was an evil time of sacrifice. A lot of stuff happened. This isn't made up. This isn't my opinion. This is truth. So if December 25th and that time is for sure pagan, it's pagan. It, it, more better way to say it is, is it's Catholic, which is just as bad. Roman Catholic. Um, so it's pagan. So, if, so point two is why would you take a, an established for sure pagan time that was converted to Rome over these other two times that scholars agree that he really was born? Point two. And now point three is you have to understand that during the time of Yeshua, nobody celebrated their birthday. Nobody did. No Jewish people did. This came much, much, much later. Hundreds of years later, Jewish people started to a little bit. Um, Jewish people didn't celebrate their birthdays. The only people that celebrated their birthdays with parties during the time of Yeshua in the first century, Israel, Palestine, uh, whichever, please don't, 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 don't fight about that, um, is uh, King Herod, who was evil, and uh, Pharaoh. So those three things right there, you know, should show you that we shouldn't have this, um, obviously, pagan celebration for our God. Um, during a time which, you know, people who hated God, and obviously there's a spiritual warfare realm, you know, there are spirits that are trying to get us to mock God and get us to, to work against Him. You know, Psalm 2 says He'll have them laugh in derision. He'll have them, like, all messed up. But, you know, the point is we're alive right now. We're living through this, you know. There's anxiety. There's, there's stuff happening. You got to eat. You know, so I'm just going to leave it at that and just say, if you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But since you still still say, we see, your guilt remains. Now you see uh, Christmas, December 25th, is Roman and it's pagan. And it has nothing to do with the God of Israel. Uh, if you say you're reclaiming it, uh, that's like a laughable claim. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And in the context of the Bible, you should really be ashamed of yourself for trying to instruct other people to uh, worship the Holy One of God um, on a day that demons and fallen angels have used for evil purposes. Um, there were no great temple of God built on pagan places. The pagan places were destroyed. So just remember that. Uh, we don't want anything to do with the works of darkness or of the enemy. Um, and uh, we're not going to celebrate Christmas in December. We're going to celebrate Hanukkah because Yeshua celebrated Hanukkah in John chapter 10, verse 22. Just like he always did every time he went in the synagogue, he was teaching, he was respected. Uh, there's not evidence that he went to a rabbinical school, but he was called rabbi and he was respected as a teacher. And uh, you don't need an ordination of men. Uh, John chapter 15 is all you need. So if you feel like preaching the gospel or teaching or having a house church, you can do that. You don't need anyone's uh, approval. Um, and you, you know, or to somebody who's just really trying to get you to, um, you know, want to get a salary out of it, because that's what most, most of these Bible students are doing, trying to get a salary out of it, and that's absolutely uh, horrible. So, God bless you all. Thanks for joining me, and uh, celebrate Hanukkah this year. That's, that's a Bible holiday. That's, that's a holiday of the people of Israel, and that's the family that we were adopted into. So, uh, God bless Jerusalem. God bless the Jewish people. God bless you and be with you. Uh, and we uh, 
I want to follow the truth. If you're not engaged in the sincere, honest pursuit of truth, then uh, you're not following the God of Israel. God bless you, Jewish Complete Bible. Uh, go get yourself one. It's a great investment. Right now, I think they're on sale, christianbook.com or something for like 30 bucks for a hardcover. <clears throat> you can get this one for, I think, 50. It's, that's pretty expensive. Uh, I think a Bible should be a lot more, uh, a lot cheaper than that, but, but that's how it is. So God bless you all. I'm not here to make money. I'm not here to do anything like that. I'm not a great teacher. I'm not trying to get people to follow me. Um, I'm just trying to open people's eyes to the truth. Uh, I'm not going to pray on YouTube because, uh, you know, God warned us about that. We're not supposed to be eloquent to try and please people or get people to like us personally. So I want you all to pray after this video. Pray to God for the spirit of truth and, uh, and that you will not mock him by what devils and demons are trying to get you to be doing and enshrine in, in, a, in a religion. You know, you don't need to do that. You're, you're, your Savior is your Savior, and it's a personal belief. You have access to him um, through a prayer. So God bless you all, and uh, Yeshua is real. I have been under attack, and you know what? When I get down and I pray, I know God is with me. And even though I might suffer a little bit, you might suffer a little bit. God is with you. And he will, he will, he will carry you through. And he will never leave you or forsake you. Um, so God bless you all. Thanks for watching that and uh, being with me. So celebrate Hanukkah. This is not the Hanukkah. But <laughs> celebrate Hanukkah. And uh, absolutely, if you're uh, going to meet and gather with people, don't be rude. Don't be weird. Uh, you know, people say Merry Christmas, say thanks, you know. And uh, don't, don't, don't try to ruin a gathering by uh, pushing a, a debate, okay? Uh, save that for either social media later uh, <laughs> or, uh, or another time, you know? So make the most out of every opportunity. Be gentle and be kind. Um, don't take that out of context. Sometimes you have to be tough and, and divide and make people mad. But, uh, you know, in the case of your gatherings in December, uh, you know, be respectful and be kind. But, uh, you know... Just remember exactly what it is and what these days mean and what took place, especially what happened to Jewish people so many years uh, on these dates. Uh, so if you're going to witness to a Jewish, uh, Jewish neighbor, uh, don't, don't, don't do it on, on the 25th. Say Happy Hanukkah and uh, you, know, you can explain how you believe in Yeshua, that he is at the center of that. Um, so God bless you all. Thanks for watching. I talked too much today. But I wanted to just share that because it's, it's absolutely preposterous to believe that Yeshua didn't, didn't celebrate Hanukkah. He is the physical embodiment of the Torah. Uh, he was there to show people uh, not to legalistically observe the Torah, but to, to observe it and, and follow it still even now. So God bless you all. We love you. And uh, yeah, be at peace. Celebrate Hanukkah. <laughs> That's enough out of me. <laughs>